This month's giveaway is a copy of Mighty No. 9, cross by for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and the Vita whenever they decide to release that version. How do you enter to win? It's simple. All you have to do is be a subscriber. And as always, if you want additional entries, go ahead and leave a comment on each of our podcast videos for the month. The winner will be chosen at random at the end of the month. Good luck, and thank you so much for watching. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Press X Podcast, episode 23, part 3, the third parties. Yep. Uh, so we're going to be going through Bethesda's conference, Ubisoft's conference, EA's yeah. conference. I think that's it. Yep. No Activision this year. They dropped out. Yep. Um, as far as Nintendo goes, by I guess by the time this goes live, it'll probably won't matter but we don't know what we're doing with nintendo yet we have to yeah, see what they're really, doing yeah, let's say we don't really know what they're doing um, um it's so. a lot so i'm sure we'll get like an hour out of nintendo so just like sony and microsoft we're going to go through talk about each conference much quicker than we did the other ones uh yep. talk about announcements that we liked we'll kind of yep. gloss over things that we didn't really care for over, so. and then uh i'll give bethesda and uh Bethesda and EA are rating. You didn't actually watch the conference. You just saw the announcements. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched, and then, I watched a little bit of the EA one. And the then Ubisoft, conference. we watched together. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll jump right in with EA, which I feel like was the worst conference. Um, uh, yeah, from what Jesus I watched, it was kind of boring. Yeah, it was. Especially when you compare. I think all the conferences this year have been fairly weak, minus Sony's. Mm-hmm. And Bethesda's was okay. I thought Xbox's was good. Um, yeah, but I, I still think it's like weaker than last year's. Weaker than last year's. Weaker than last year's. Uh, I think Sony's was weaker than last year's too. Honestly, yeah, I, I agree. I think this is a weak E3. I really do. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Okay, anyway, uh, Titanfall two. So they deb- debuted a new trailer, showed off some of the yeah. uh, the multiplayer, showed off the single player, which was a big thing. That was uh, Titanfall two. I don't care. I also don't care. There's just better shooters coming out. Um, I agree. Out right now. I think Call of Duty looks yeah, better than this I, game. I don't think they should have made a Titanfall 2. Um, I hope it does oh, well. I, I disagree with that. I just don't think they should put it out in October right next to Battlefield. I don't think this is a good right year. Right before Call of Duty. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think it just seems. Th- this is a really hard time to make your shooter last if you don't already have a name for yourself. So I agree with that. And also the... Um, the something I want to point out is it seems like the marketing for this game is PlayStation. Mm-hmm. It seems like PlayStation has the marketing, Inside and I thought Xbox. that was kind of weird considering the first one was exclusive on Xbox. And yeah, now that, and Play- then I feel like shooters are huge on Xbox. Uh, yeah, Xbox has Battlefield, mm-hmm. and then PlayStation seems like it has Titanfall and Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is weird. Call, I feel like Call of Duty used to be Xbox. It did used like, to be Xbox, yeah, but X, like where it, they just go where the money is. Yeah, that's where it like, took off the ground. Yeah. Um, I mean, they, they sell better on PlayStation because there's yeah, twice I mean, as many, yeah, PlayStations. Say, um, um, many PlayStations. Moving on, we saw Madden. What it's, I, I have nothing game. to say. Prettier yeah. Madden, whatever. They talked about esports for way too long. Mm-hmm. I don't like when they do things like no. that. Um, they showed off Mass Effect and showed off Mass yeah. Effect Andromeda, which was a of like a two minute video that was a behind the scenes video again, yeah. which showed off maybe in total thirty seconds yeah. of actual it, it showed off, stuff um, happening. Not a lot of gameplay. It showed no. off like it looks like there's gonna be a lot of exploration in this game, which I'm excited about. Yeah, I like that they wanted to point out that you're the alien. Mm-hmm. You're the one intrudings on yeah, their you're territory. The, you're the outsider. Yeah, um, I like that. Essentially, humans are going extinct, and you're trying to find a new home to start the Earth over again. Uh, which this is cool. this game is set for early 2017. Mm-hmm. I call bullshit. Yeah, I um, don't think we're gonna get it then. No, I don't. I think this game is, you know. Not very far along. This looks like a very in-depth game, graphically, voice acting wise, gameplay wise, everything like that. So I don't think they're gonna be able to get it out early 2017. Yeah, I um, and I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't impressed with it. I was just like, no. Okay. I mean, it, I would have rather them not shown anything. Yeah, I agree. and made a trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, I've yeah. talked about before that I wish games would do stuff like this more, mm-hmm. which is like reveal it, just an, admit that it I'm, exists, I'm, so you I'm don't sure, have to hide yourself. I'm sure and this stuff. is what happened, and it, then this is what happens, and then yeah. I bitch about it. So maybe they shouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure Bioware was like, you know, we don't really have anything to show, and then you know, of course, EA is like, well, we're gonna show something. That and, might actually be true. And Bioware is like, okay, well, this is what we got, and they're like, whatever. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they they yeah. just. 
need time to work on the yeah. game. I, mean, I don't I think have time they do. for E3. I think they do, you know. Bioware always has, this isn't the only thing they're doing. Obviously, they have other projects going on. <laughs> um, so, they always do. They're always doing working on, like, three projects Star at Wars. a time. Yeah. Um, they talked a little bit about EA Access, which is a program I don't like very much. But I think it's uh, th- yeah. they have free, uh, the games library is free until the 22nd, which mm-hmm. is really cool. Yep, kind of weird. Mirror's Edge is on there, which just came out. So, you can basically try out Mirror's Edge. Oh, wow. Um, Moving on, they talked about FIFA 17, which I t- I tweeted out or s- was talking to my friends. Yeah. Uh, I was like, this is set. I don't care about FIFA. I don't yeah. watch soccer. People were freaking don't care. out about this game. This game looks I was really like, good for This is the best game. announcement they've had so far. Mm-hmm. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> like In yeah. a negative sense, this yeah. is literally the coolest thing I've seen so mm-hmm. far. Um, it seems like it has a s- story mode, which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, you play as this Alex Hunter. You go through the story. Yeah. I actually think that that's awesome. I, I wish more cool. sports games had an actual story. Yeah, I agree. Um, they talked about EA Originals, which is probably my favorite announcement. Uh, very similar. They said that they had a lot of success last year with Unraveled, which yeah. was a game that I liked, didn't love. Um, that's fine. But I, liked the, I really liked the idea of it Mm -hmm. uh they came out they said that they're doing more stuff like that i thought that was awesome and they announced fee which is the first game i guess under this x or ea original title uh very pretty very ori in the blind forest looking platformer style thing but looks cool we don't know much more about it than that uh, they had a Star Wars video, which I was once again disappointed by. They yeah. announced all the Star Wars stuff we already knew existed, mm-hmm. and they're like, and, they and show here's little clips of it. maybe three seconds yeah. of each of them. Um, I mean, they were all look cool. Nothing looks bad here. Even the mobile game looks fine. Um, yeah, sure. But they just showed off a little bit of each thing. Yeah, I agree. It's a little disappointing. For they sure. they definitively said we're getting a new Battlefront next year. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was interesting. I think, I think the plan is to do similar to the Call of Duty thing, one every like one to two years. So. I think we get. Battlefield, Battlefront, Battlefield, Battlefront, yeah, Battlefield. Same kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I think the standout for this was the visceral Amy Henning game. It looks like un- it looks exactly like I thought this, it would be. This game's Uncharted be Star yeah. Wars. We saw twenty like, three seconds this visually, but it looked incredible. Yeah, um, I'm very, it very, looks like very you don't play a Jedi, which is cool. So, uh, yes, probably not. Or maybe you become one later or something. No, but yeah, it, it doesn't look like you start out as one. Yeah, you, in, he, in looked, that he looked like like teaser. a Han Solo kind of character. So yes. that would be incredible. We need definitely need. He a game almost like looked that. like Ray to me before. Mm-hmm. You know, like early yeah. Ray, like a scavenger. They, they made I it guess. very clear that they're trying to make games for every kind of Star Wars fan. So um, we haven't had road games. We've had a bunch of road. I games think that's try to come definitely out, the so. story Star Wars game. Oh, this is like, definitely the that's story the driven story one. Yeah, that's the Kevin Star. It's gonna be cool. I'm excited about it. Um. So then we have Battlefield One. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not excited about this. I game. don't care I think, either. And this uh, was their big thing. This was their thing where they're like, "We're doing this, and yeah. then we're gonna show you a 64 player match." And yeah. I'm just like, "This looks not great, guys." It doesn't look good. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, visually, this game looks cool. Um, I think World War is a cool period. I don't think it's a good period for games. Yeah. Um, it's very I agree. interesting. Um, the history is interesting because this is like where things started in the modern age of warfare. Um, it doesn't make any sense for a video game. I don't I understand agree. it at all. Um, I don't know why they went in this direction. I think it was a mistake. I, I don't know if I would go as far as to say it was a mistake, but it's definitely not something I'm interested in, especially like this is an experiment. Yeah. And I feel like putting, once again, putting an experiment up against a juggernaut like Call of Duty, yeah. I feel like you're just going to get shit on. And I know people, oh, it's the most liked trailer on YouTube, video game trailer on YouTube, and Call of Duty is the most disliked one. Call of Duty is going to outsell the shit out of Battlefield. Oh, man. Especially like, after this E3. Like, yeah, Call the E3 Duty. thing looked great, and they, they have the remaster man, yeah. tacked in. Like, Call of Duty might be come one on of the now. top five You're games delusional. In, in this E3. Like, it looked incredible. Like, oh, my gosh. Oh, man. That, e- that Call of Duty trailer, or, uh, gameplay trailer was fantastic. Uh, so then we had ba-dung, Bethesda's conference. Mm-hmm. Moving right along. I guess I'll give my EA overall thing, because yeah. I actually saw it. Uh, I put a three out of 10 on my Twitter after I watched it. I thought it was awful. I thought they didn't have anything at all that excited me. Uh, Everything that they showed a glimmer of exciting me sucked. Like they were like, here's the Mass Effect. I was like, okay, at least I can get into, okay, there was nothing there. Then they're like, here's the Star Wars game. And the best thing that I saw was somebody tweeted out after it. They had no meat. 
I think was the problem. Yeah. Somebody tweeted it out after it, which I thought was the best. They yeah. said, um, do you like Mass Effect? And they, it said the response and it was like, yeah. Do you like Star Wars? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Here's soccer for 20 minutes. Yeah. And that was what the conference yeah. felt like to me. It's like, we um, have these really cool things, but we're not going to show you them. And yeah. Like, we're, we're not even close to being done with these yeah, games. Um, so. so a little disappointing for the FIFA fans out there, you know, Congrats to you. This game looks incredible. It's, it's almost game. like you get one every year. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't see the conference. I saw a little bit of it. But I, I, as far as content goes, I give it like a 4 out of 10. Yeah. Um, I mean, those are... It wasn't good. a very meaty conference, which yeah. sucks. And well, um, I mean, and it's not their regular press conference. They normally do their regular press conferences before or after Ubisoft. I don't yeah. know. Um, but they, they s- s- backed themselves out of E3 and yeah. they did this public thing instead yeah cool they had like a second stream that was from london that mm-hmm. they kept switching between and doing announcements and i really think that was just for guest stars that didn't want to fly to the u.s to yeah. be dead honest yeah um but yeah overall i thought it was it was hard to watch and i, I just it was not good like it at all. especially it compared good. to like you know we saw Echo. and then bethesda went and i still uh, bethesda's next i still don't think they had a solid conference i think no. theirs was good yeah and it kicked the shit out of ea so let's oh, yeah. move let's transition there yeah uh, Bethesda, as far as the structure of the conference, way better. Probably the second best or third best structure, depending on Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, game, come out, talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Game, come out, talk about it a little bit. Uh, opened up, awesome opening. Do the uh, computer boot up. Yeah. Type in, run, quake, enter, that was boom. Cool. That was we cool. see quake. Uh, very much like quake, not coming to consoles apparently. Mm-hmm. Very the much don't PC. care yep. about quake anymore. <laughs> Um, so th- this game looks really cool as a, you know, a Quake fan when I was, th- I mean, this game was out when I was like 10 years old. So, um, th- this yeah. game was sweet. Like this is one of the first, like, I mean, games. I like Quake. I, I got involved with it. I played it a lot. I got to play this with, uh, I played it with my brother's friends. Most of my friends didn't have a PC to play it on. Um, the game's sweet. Um, the cinematic trailer was awesome. Great trailer. Um, it looks like it's very much going to be like a fast paced hero shooter, which is cool. We don't really have one of those right now. Um, they're all like very objective based That's hero true. shooters. So I'm excited to see this. Um, be cool. something else I want to point out at the beginning of that press conference, a lot of people missed it and still nobody's talking about mm-hmm. it. When they did the boot up, it showed a bunch of their games and their yeah. release dates, not yeah. current ones, but like past games and release yeah. dates like the original doom, doom three, et cetera. Um, there was Wolfenstein. There is new, new order. And it had its release date, yeah. Old Blood, and it had its release date. And then under that, it said New Colossus or New Coliseum, one or the other. Mm-hmm. And then it had release date XXXXX, so it wasn't announced yet. Um, there's a new Wolfenstein game being worked on. And yeah, they, cool. they snuck that in there completely, just a little text thing that was up for half a second. Somebody screen capped it, looked at it. There's a new Wolfenstein game coming. That's cool. Um, next, they talked about Elder Scrolls Legends, which is their card game. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of card games this E3. Surprisingly, yeah. I don't care about it. <laughs> yeah, in I, addition. Not, not really. Uh, so I don't have anything really to say. I also don't really give a shit about this. Um, they, they, you know, they got their beta for their card game. So yeah, whatever. If you're interested in that, cool. Uh, I feel like, not to kind of shit on them, but uh, the Witcher Gwent card game mm-hmm. is going to murder a lot of card games that like this. Yeah, like, I, I don't really care about I've, that. Yeah, I, I don't just either, so hard but com- I just know so many people Yeah, it's so hard to compete with Hearthstone. Um, mm, sir. I mean, it's like, oh, golly, that game is played all over the place, and it's on the mobile device, and it's like the top like stream game like all the time. So, I don't know why companies even try to compete with that. But let's continue. Uh, we got Fallout Four expansion. Uh, the first one is the Contraptions expansion. Uh, it, it seems like it adds on to the part of the game that everybody hated, yeah. which was the settlements mm-hmm. and like building your um, own stuff. So what they kind of talked about with their expansions was like doing things like an expansion for every part of the game. Um, like there are different aspects, like the building your like little town or more story or more just like open world. Um, so this looks like the part that everybody does hate as you, as you were saying. Yeah. Um, it says here, that it'll give the players more options for crafting, which I guess is cool. You can make elevators, armor, weapon yeah. racks, etc. Cool. Uh, the next one is the Vault Tech Workshop, which mm-hmm. will be released in July. And they just it's, came out with New Harbor, right? Uh, with what? New Harbor. Uh, y- pretty recent. Is it right? New Harbor? Is that what it's called? Something Harbor. Anyway, it's, yes, yeah. it, it's pretty recent. Yeah. So uh, they're coming out with these pretty close to each other, which I thought was weird. D- yeah, I mean. 
I, I, I don't guess know what so. they're. I don't know what they're. They trying are to do kind of. Yet. They're a month apart each. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's kind of strange. They're a big expansion. They also year. had really cheap season passes though, so mm-hmm. it's probably like, like I think the season pass was twenty five dollars or something oh, wow. to get I mean, it. And they're pretty meaty expansions. Yeah. Well, they raised the price on it, and they announced that they're going to raise the uh, price. Okay. So they were like, it's cheap now if you want to get it. Yeah. Something like that. It may have been thirty. Whatever. Uh, the Vault Tech Workshop was the next one. It's coming out in July, and it says it'll allow the players to make their very own vault, invite settlers, and perform vault experiments. Um, this reminded me of Fallout Shelter, the iOS game. It seemed like you could kind of do that stuff yeah. in your actual yeah. like vault. Um, cool. Once again, still not for me. I don't like... Yeah, I guess that's preference. I don't like Fallout 4, so none of this speaks to me. And that's um, a huge... That was my big yeah. thing with this literally don't like any bethesda game i didn't like doom was okay yeah people are like, doom was okay i think wolfenstein's their best thing that they've put out mm-hmm. uh evil within's cool they didn't do an evil within two yeah and then like the other uh, their big things which is like elder scrolls fallout all these i don't care you know like elder scrolls no I, I like so Elder like that, that's a big part of this con- like my negativity yeah. towards this conference for me is I think it was a good conference that I don't care about. Yeah, I think um, yeah, it, it was fun. I don't have a problem with it's it. It's kind of like when somebody has a sports game and they're all like into basketball, for instance, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Oh, this is a great game," and I'm like, "Don't care. Yeah, don't know any." Sure. You know, that's kind of how it felt for me. Um, so then they did the spy. Skyrim, Skyrim Special Edition, uh, mm. which looks very, very, very pretty. It does. Uh, yeah, it looks really they, good. they wanted to make it clear that it looks better than the PC versions with all the mods, mm-hmm. which is interesting. It will also use mods on the consoles, and it's coming October twenty eighth, the same day as Last Guardian. Yep. Fucking a man, that game can't catch a break. That sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this. I think the um, re-release oh, this will huge. do very well. People yes. love this game. It's their best selling game. Yeah. Um, I yeah, I mean it looks beautiful. Um, I don't know if they're adding anything, right? It's just like a kind of a re- uh, re-release. They redid the textures, all new lighting, all new depth of field, new snow effects, new water shaders, and they're not more. adding any like gameplay though. Uh, no, but it includes all the DLC. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. But no, they're not like going in and adding. It's stuff. actually a decent amount of DLC. So yes. I haven't actually played any of the DLC. I beat the main game. Um, probably spent like sixty hours in the game. Um, the next thing up was Prey, which, off the top of my head, was my favorite thing that they showed off. That's cool. Um, Prey was neat. Kind of a fake uh, Groundhog Day, I guess, mm-hmm. scenario for the opening trailer. The same thing happens, the same thing happens, and then the same thing happens. Then it just gets like weird and paranormal yeah. and kind of effed up. And yeah. I'm like, I don't know what this game is, but I'm definitely down. Yeah. Uh, this is one that I'm going to keep my eye on, yeah, for it looks, sure. Cool. It looks interesting. And I, if the people wanted Prey 2, the, Prey 2 has been like in development hell forever, mm-hmm. and it seems like they just rebranded it and they're redoing mm-hmm. whatever. Like they're probably picking and choosing ideas and redoing right. it. Um, it reminded me a lot of Alien. Mm-hmm. Like that's kind of the vibe I got For sure. from it. And Dead Space. Kind of, you know, which is very, similar. Very dark horror esque space kind of thing. For uh, sure. Yes. And I'm very, very excited for that game, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to cool. keep my eye on it. Uh, it says it's coming out next year. And I think they said that they're going to show more of it at QuakeCon, which is in August. Cool. And obviously, they're going to show more Quake. Yeah. At QuakeCon um, as well. Yeah. I think we were going to freak when they see the Quake gameplay. Uh, they announced some new updates for Doom, which I actually don't know about. They did the uh, Snap Mac stuff. I this was my bathroom brick because, like I said, I didn't really like Doom. I thought it was like a fine yeah. shooter. Yeah. I thought it was awful multiplayer. So adding, and I would a say cool they're adding player. more uh, multiplayer things, game modes, maps, things like that. I think that multiplayer was atrocious. Um, I don't think I'm going to announced... be dead. Say, like, I thought it yeah. was awful. I don't think it's good. Um, I think people love the story lo- mode for this game. Um, the game yeah. sold well. S- story is fun. Very game surprising. sold very well. Yeah, very surprising. I was surprised too. Um, yeah, I, I think people want more like storyline, so I don't think they're adding. They announced it and adding here, but hopefully we'll see that. Uh, yeah, this was my bathroom break. Break, like I said, it was actually my Sonic break. I went to go get mozzarella sticks. Nice. Uh, but so Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, this game I feel like bombed. Yeah, but it's, but it's I doing, guess it's still going. Yeah, it's doing. I don't right. know anybody that gives a shit about it when it came out mm-hmm. or now. Yeah. But um, there's a new expansion. It's out by the time this, uh, you know, goes live, so it doesn't really yeah. matter too this much. This is uh, actually one of the worst MMOs I've ever played. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Um, 
it's just a really dull generic MMO um, set in the Elder Scrolls world. It kind of sucks. Um, and then they announced that it says Bethesda also announced a new feature for Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, one Tamriel with one Tamriel, all players will automatically be leveled to the content in the world, allowing them to freely group with anyone they want and explore the vast world with no level restrictions. Uh, so it sounds like every other MMO, it's like a pretty consistently like normal thing for MMOs yeah. to have now. But anyway, uh, they announced Bethesda VR, which was a big surprise for me. And they kind of shot themselves in the foot for me, honestly. But uh, they announced the Bethesda VR, and then they announced a Doom VR, which was like a walkthrough, just look at the pretty textures, don't care. Yeah. Then they announced Fallout 4 will be on the Vive, and they specifically said the Vive. And then yeah. later they said in the Microsoft the Oculus. conference that yeah. they said it was coming to Oculus. I don't know, whatever. Um I imagine it's coming to PlayStation as well I don't at that see reason point. Why not. Yeah. Um, I'm still confused as to whether this is the full game or if it's just a th- little thing. Uh, so what we saw still don't know. <laughs> what we saw in the um, the Project Scorpio looked like the full game they were showing off. Um, it looked like he was like running through the map. Yeah, but I mean that wasn't somebody like actually actively playing it. Yeah, I'm no, just, I'm so just saying from seeing that. Yeah, um, I could. I'd be cool. I hope I it's asked the somebody full that's game. there That'd on cool. Twitter and they didn't answer me. Yeah, because they don't love me. So yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm curious as to know if that's the full game. If it is the full game, that's cool. I'll that's be cool. playing Fallout Four. Yeah. Um, Dishonored Two was their big. People are uh, freaking out. Yeah. Bookend. To the conference, I thought it looked real mediocre. Once again, don't really like Bethesda games. Definitely am a third person, per, per, third person person over first person, and yeah. don't like stealth games. So we're batting a thousand here. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> I agree with you. Like you know, pretty solid on this one. I'm just not interested. It looks yeah. fine. It doesn't look bad, but I'm not interested. Yeah, I um, hate, I agree. I, I just don't think this I isn't have the dishonored, and I this isn't the time for uh, that kind of game. I don't think. I don't think people are interested in those kind of games right now. Um, so you know, whatever. Uh, November 11th, though, we're we're getting Dishonored two. Cool. Um, yeah, whatever. they showed off some different abilities and stuff. I'd just say watch the trailer if you're interested. Yep. Uh, they they did some cool looking things like you can turn into the shadow stealthy monster yep. and like rip people apart or whatever. But I j- there's just something about stealth games where I just it's frustrating and I don't like it and I feel mm-hmm. like Metal Gear did it well with five but that was it in, way uh, more action than the stealth. early Splinter Cell games they did a good job with the stealth kind of thing. no those were like good stealth games mm-hmm. but I still didn't enjoy them because they were stealth games like I'd yeah. rather shoot people and like, yeah, yeah, like that's just not my thing yeah, to be stealthy. They, they definitely advertise themselves as stealth games though so Dishonored like the first one I was expecting it to just be like this action shooter game um, no. and it was weird. So. Yeah, it's more like a thief. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, overall that w- those were the announcements for that one. Yep. Moving right along, uh, for that conference, I gave them a six out of ten. Um, and looking back on it, I'd almost lower it to a five. Um, yeah, it's pretty my, average. This my, first conference yeah, I f- like I feel like it was right in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, and my cliff note for that one was uh, I thought the conference was good, but the announcements weren't anything I cared about. Yeah, so it made very, it so I didn't care. If I was sure. a huge Elder Scrolls fan, I would be way happier with it. Or if I loved Dishonored or something, but I literally just don't care about any of their games. And the only one, unlike Sony, which like took a game that I'm like, Aeon, like uh, Detroit, and mm-hmm. made me care about it, yeah. uh, the only game that they did that to me was Prey, which was something that I was like, oh, I'm interested in this now. Yeah. Um, and it was all kind of like CG stuff, so I still don't know the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's five, six out of ten. Um, didn't watch this. Uh, last year they had a great conference. I'm sure it was the same kind of setup. Uh, as far as content goes, I give it like five, six out of ten. Yeah. Um, probably a five is very average, like content. Nothing. I agree. I, s- I, th- I still think it's weird that they had a conference. Mm-hmm. I thought for sure they weren't. Like, I thought the stars just aligned last year. Yeah. And they were like, oh, we have Fallout and we have Doom. And, like, they just happened to have all these games yeah. that were coming out. And they were like, super hey, here's all this DLC for the games that we were talking about yeah, last year. Yeah. Super shocked that they actually did a conference this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't feel like they need to do one next year. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm people good. enjoyed it this year. People um, like Bethesda a lot. I mean, yeah, they do. Obviously. Um, so. Their games, know. their games sell well, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, so let's move on to Ubisoft. Always the weirdest conference this yeah, year. They are no different. Yeah. Um, 
Jesus they try Christ. To be, they try to be like super extra comical in their conference. Oh, it doesn't work. Um, and they really drug it out this year. Yeah. Um, that kind of sucked. sucked so we'll me. start with Just Dance. Another Just Dance. Yeah, whatever. Nothing to they say. Out, like all the dancers It's going to sell amazingly. Yeah. It, it, the only notable thing is that they specifically said coming to NX. Mm-hmm. First, I did say that. First thing ever, I think, that they specifically said that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's cool. Uh, then they showed off Ghost Recon Wildlands, which looks like every other third-person shooter they make. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this uh, like GTA wannabe third-person shooter kind of thing. Um, it, I got a very GTA vibe from it yeah. as well. Um, it looks very generic. You go from like this third-person to first-person, which I thought was really weird. When you shoot, it was you, jarring to watch. Yeah, when you sure. when you shoot, you go into a first-person mode, which I thought was cool, kind of weird. Only thing that interests me at all in this game. Um, the storyline setup doesn't I, interest me. Oh, see, I, I'm the opposite. I was like, the story I think is cool. I, I like fun. the idea of yeah. the story. It's very much like the division. I'm like, oh, that's a cool story. Yeah. But like, I don't care enough about the gameplay, uh, to for it to matter. Right. And then they do the Watchdogs Division garbage yeah, thing that all, I hate, all which is it's like a this. multiplayer online thing. Oh, that yeah, I don't care. Yeah. I don't want that. Stop yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> People people love that though. They love jumping in these games with their friends and playing them yeah. all the way through. So I'm I'm just not personally. I don't give a shit. Not one know. of them people. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The game looked fine. I don't think it looks bad at all. Very they, generic. So once again, they did the the Ubisoft garbage. Oh, we're a group of friends oh. that talks like a military yeah, they, team. They do this like scripted. Yeah, they do it thing. every it's so year, stupid. and it's, it's very awful silly. every year. Yeah, it's very silly. Oh. Anyway, so yeah, I, I don't have very high uh, hopes for that game. No, I probably I won't be playing game. it, but March 7th, it's coming out. Um, cool. Cool. Then we got the best part of the conference, in mm-hmm. my opinion. We got the fake out South Park. And oh, that was cool. And yeah. not only did we get South Park, th- I feel like they nailed this part of it. Mm-hmm. This was the best part. Not only did we get m- not just one, not just a trailer, we got a trailer that was hilarious. It was awesome. Uh, the yeah. game clearly playing off of uh marvel movies mm-hmm. that's kind of what yeah, they're it's about. like a superhero theme yeah it's uh, a superhero what is it thing? called the fractured butthole the, f- the fractured butthole um because their group splits up and they do a little civil yeah. civil war action uh they in the whole thing starts over cartman makes phase one phase two phase yeah, three for the trying movies. To make superhero movies uh the black it's guy awesome. wants to be in the movie he said no we're gonna sneak yeah. you in in phase three yeah. very funny <laughs> um but they showed off that trailer they showed off just like making your character they yeah. like which actually seems important they showed up the combat which they've totally changed and it looks mm-hmm. awesome it looks cool uh they they just showed uh just tidbits of different things uh trey and matt were on stage they were hilarious they were yeah it, it was great they seem very excited about this game um like genu- yeah. genuinely excited about the game so then they announced that if you pre-order it you get the first one yep the uh, stick of truth to play it went live like during the conference mm-hmm. all the trophies and achievements went live which yeah. is a great sneak yeah um um, and then they announced that the game's coming in December, like December 6th, I believe it yep. was. So this game's done right now. Um, and I was like, holy shit, they did it. Like, I, this was definitely the biggest shock of this conference and one of the biggest cool. shocks of yeah. E3. They did, I, they I did a like. great job of this. Yeah, um, it was fantastic. I think this game kind of blew everybody away at E3. Um, like, Stick of Truth was cool. Nobody thought we were getting another one. No. And my favorite thing was they came out last year when they did that and they said, yeah, "Yeah, we know we like said making video games sucks and we hated it and all the stuff. And he's like, but then we did it. Yeah. And we're back. Like, you know, they, I I think they they really enjoyed it. They laid the groundwork. Yeah. Um, um, so and the yeah, game got a lot so of good excited. feedback. The Stick of Truth game got oh, a yeah, lot of good feedback. People loved it. Yeah. And now I I haven't played it. Yeah. I was waiting for the PS4 part. Yeah. We got That's it. Here. Yeah, there you go. We the did game, it. The game's fantastic. I loved it. I've uh, actually played so it happy. twice. I enjoyed it so much. So happy. So. Yeah, and it's like that sweet, like, shorter RPG. Mm-hmm. Like, it's an RPG, but you can finish it in, like, 10 hours yeah. or whatever, which is cool. Um, then they did the Division Underground DLC. Yeah. Uh, they, and they have a 93% player drop-off. That's mm-hmm. not good. Yeah. Uh, they're looking to get people back. Yeah. Uh, they're giving out Splinter Cell costumes, this Rainbow Six costumes, Ghost Recon costumes. Yeah, the as costumes DLC. look fantastic. The, the Splinter Cell one in general. Yeah, the Splinter Cell one. Yeah. Um, they announced the uh, other DLC, Survival, Survival, which yeah. I mean, I imagine is just what it sounds like. A yeah, survival. they did like a cool cinematic trailer for it. Um, and then they saw, we see this new like 
bad guy. He's like hunting division agents down in the end of it. So that looked cool. Um, that kind of got me interested in, in the game a little bit more. But like, so much new content, and I'm glad they're putting in new content. And they're listening. They to have the, to. Yeah. They're listening to the fans, um, and they're really putting out all this stuff. Um, I'm I'm a little excited. Um, I was dis. I I love this game. Then I got disappointed. Um, and then they came out with something new, and I just didn't care. And now they're coming out with this, and I kind of, you know, I want to get back into it. So we'll see. I think I think this is going to be good for the game. It's definitely not going to hurt it. So. Um, then they did the Eagle Flight VR. Uh, that was interesting. Yep. A multiplayer VR game. I think it was 3v3. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was Capture the Flag, basically, or Capture the yep. Rodent. Uh, you were eagles that could shoot air for some reason like air bullets yeah, like i don't sonic, really like, know wah, what was going on there oh like is that sonic. what that was yeah, okay like that makes sense why it kept calling mm-hmm. during yeah, every every time they shot it called gotcha so it's like that a was sonic annoying thing. yeah it was uh, <laughs> so the game look way like that's one of those games that i feel like would actually be pretty fun if you sat down and if played you, it yeah they look ridiculous playing it yeah <laughs> you, you look ridiculous but when you're in it it seems like it would be fun i'm definitely yeah. interested they, they look like it. they were genuinely having fun on stage yes. playing this game so um the the problem with this is I feel like VR is going to be such a small market that there's only going to be one multiplayer game, mm-hmm. and I think it's going to be Rigs, which is uh, Gorilla Games PlayStation VR exclusive mm-hmm. one. So this could work on other things, but Gorilla Games PlayStation exclusive one, and I I feel like they're going to push that one so much because it's their first party game. Yes. Uh, yeah. That and like the Eve Valkyrie is yeah. obviously a big that game. game's going to do well as but, well. But like the user base for these are going to be so small. It's going to be interesting how online games work like that because yeah, we'll see. It's going to be teeny, mm-hmm. teeny tiny user base. I think that's going to like I don't think the VR is going to be bad. Um, as far as these multiplayer games go, it's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. Yeah. Uh, then in the VR space, we also got Star Trek Bridge Crew. Terrible name. Uh, game looked fine. It seems like everybody gets a role. Yeah. You have specific directions and things you need to do. Mm-hmm. Reminded me a lot of the game uh, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes yeah. where one person reads instructions one to really somebody else who's trying to defuse a bomb. Yeah. That's what it felt like to me. It didn't look bad. I think for Star Trek fans, it's going to be fantastic. I don't see a lot of other people picking it up. Um, the graphics look atrocious. It yeah. looks like a fucking 2002 that's a, that's video a, That's game. a VR thing. Like yeah. you have to. The thing is, watching VR sucks. Yeah. Because it does look bad, but when you're in the world and you move to the left and it moves to the left, you actually feel like you're in that world. So yeah. no matter how shitty it looks, it doesn't matter as long as it's got that crisp frame rate because you're in that world. Yeah. Like that world is your world at that moment. That's fair. So it yeah. doesn't matter when you're in it. But yeah, watching it from the outside, you're like, ooh. Yeah, they, I don't think they presented that game very well. They had like Star that. Trek actors on stage. I and thought that was, was the only saving I thought purpose. it was a really bad way to yeah. present it. That's a game that I would have rather even like the eagle thing. I could get it, mm-hmm. like it's just capture the flag. Right? That I could get. I would have almost rather had the stage demo be of this mm-hmm. and see how they have to interact with each other. Like yeah, talking. Yeah, they it, them, like, it seems very much like the engineer is going to be like, "Oh, this is wrong, Captain," and the captain has to do something, and yeah. then this person has to do it. Like that's yeah, that how it seems. That would be cool. We didn't really get a good visual of that, so this game's whatever. Uh, For Honor was next, and the big thing about this is they showed off the story campaign. Yeah, the single-player so, story campaign. Yeah, the single-player. Uh, so it's not multiplayer only, like a lot of people, mm-hmm. myself included. They showed, was it the same cinematic, or was it a different one? Oh, uh, it was new. Okay. Yeah, yeah it was new. New cinematic. Yeah. Um, which looked cool. Thought we were going to get elves, because I saw the bow, and I was yeah. like, oh, they're going to do like fantasy tribes. Now. Like, they have, mm-hmm. you know, the samurai and all these yeah, things. Yeah. And I was like, oh, so we're going to get like elves and orcs and stuff. And no. That's not what happened. Yeah, um, instead, it was really just cool. the villain for yeah. the the single player. I have no interest in this game. I think the single player looked pretty bad, and I think the multiplayer looked forgettable at best. Like mm-hmm. it looked like something that you would pick up and play for a little bit, and then put it down and never think about it again. Yeah, I really don't see this game catching on. Um, to be so honest, I was excited about this game. Um, like early on. Um, even watching this, I was like, oh, you know, this looks cool. Ooh, there's a single, pl- single player. That's cool. Um, and then just like going on in these conferences, I kind of just kind of forgot about it, you know? Like they're just better games coming out. Yeah. So I- I'll probably end up picking up. Um, I like Ubisoft games. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Uh, this is the problem with this conference. Mm-hmm. There's still announcements. And this was the longest conference, I think. Yeah, out of it, all of them, oh, and it sure felt like it. fucking hours. We still have multiple games to talk about, yeah. and yeah, it was way too Jeez, long. It, it started to get to the point where I'm like, end it, yeah. end it, end it, and it just kept going. So we got Grow Up, 
uh, was the next trailer. Uh, the sequel to Grow Home. Uh, cool. Look fine. They, yeah. I like that they bring so, littler projects out. Mm-hmm. That was fine. Then they did a really weird intro for the Trials Blood Dragon game. I don't. I didn't think that was necessary. It's cool that they're doing the Blood Dragon, which is basically eighties affying something like to the extreme. Yeah. It's like this 80s extreme comedy action game. Yeah, it lots of fine. colors, lots of loud, yeah, very obnoxious colorful, music. Loud, yes. Uh, they're doing that with the Trials games, and uh, that's out now. Mm. Uh, that's cool. I don't like the Trials games, but I do like the Blood Dragon stuff. Yeah. So I thought that that was pretty neat. It is neat. Uh, however, like I said, the announcement was all like they had yeah, them come they out of the audience to like wrestling music and like that was silly. Oh, yeah. The, the audience interaction so bad. Ubisoft needs to stop that. Stuff. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. Yeah, it is. It's really silly. Then, in the worst part of the show for me, Watch Dogs 2 just wouldn't fucking go away. Yeah, so uh, this game looked kind of interesting at first. Um, It looks very GTA ish. Yeah, Um, it looks like ripoff GTA. Semi comical. You're like a hacker. But they spent so much time on this game and they it did was a, crazy they did like a full gameplay thing yeah that was mediocre at best to mm-hmm. me i was like you were falling asleep i was right there with you i was yeah. like oh my god yeah, please make bored. it stop so they did this whole gameplay thing i have no interest in this game at this point no, not at don't all. care not buying it no nope. whatever it ends i mm-hmm. sit back up i'm like thank god and she comes out and says and now here's another trailer and i'm like no and it was like so long oh no. yeah like, it's way too long this focus way too much on this game uh, and this is a problem that people always want this but this is the problem with revealing a game and then releasing it in the same year they have to play catch up yeah they have to release seven trailers this weekend yeah. of this game so you know what the hell's in and it and i just have i don't want anything to do with this game after this that doesn't game. work no. that works with gta that works with fallout it works with these big games Watch Dogs 2 a sequel to a game that people didn't like yeah should have been revealed and then you take your time and show what you've improved yeah. on i don't think Doing it all bad, in one go. I just don't give Ugh. a shit about it oh yeah yeah I, I was so this conference i was like jesus christ just end yeah at this point yeah for sure and then uh, there's the second Watch Dogs trailer, woohoo! And then we got this trailer for Steep. Once again, two trailers <laughs> for Steep. Yeah. Um. So they spent a lot of time on this oh. new kind of idea for a sports game they're doing. Um. It's like all based in this mountain, like yes. snowy kind of snowboarding. Um. The squirrel suit. S- skiing. Um, yeah. Skiing. Skiing. Just kind of uh, parachuting. parachuting. Yeah. Um. But they spent so much time on this. If they just had like this crazy energetic. Trail, fun yeah. trailer that's and the then thing they were i like, felt like they should have been full of energy and then that was gone and they were like steep's our new game next thing yeah instead they had like some kind of trailer then they had some gameplay and it was like really boring gameplay with really stupid people talking about it um and then they had like another trailer and then more talking about it yeah. it was so long it says here that it was over 15 minutes the reveal that, for this that's crazy yeah and like yeah they showed off snowboarding like a whole trail they showed off that you can look at your trail and like rewind and replay it and rewind and, and replay talking. it they and rewind and, and replay yeah. it and you could challenge your friends in doing this and like the game didn't look good graphically I, no. like the snow, the snow looked it awful. looked very bad there was the races where people were skiing and people were snowboarding and people were like Flying. hang gliding or yeah. whatever and i was just like this is not fun and they tried to say it was a new genre of games and i like just give me an ssx game at yeah, this point just give pretty, me a fun snowboarding game it was silly um yeah honestly it looked free to play to me it's not going to be because it's ubisoft but yeah. like it looked like a free to play social game yeah. that you get and you're like hey guys let's ho- hop on this and talk for 15 minutes because mm-hmm. i have something to do like that's yeah. what that's what it felt like to me i was super disappointed that this was the end of the conference oh, i wanted yeah. a splinter cell i wanted a prince of persia i wanted to be wowed and that was the thing ea sure didn't wow me no um EA Bethesda. didn't wow me. Bethesda sure didn't no. wow me. Microsoft didn't really wow me. I, the biggest uh, surprise for me with that conference was that yeah. ReCore is actually coming out this year. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, they they wowed me a little bit with the the indie games that they were kind of fronting. Yeah, I mean, I liked stuff, but I wasn't wowed. That's you know? fair. Uh, yeah. Out of this, this conference actually wowed me the most. All the stuff the I was South like Park mediocre. Wowed the shit the out South of me. Park yeah. I was wowed by, um, and yeah. then Sony I feel like had a couple punches, but like. You can't wow somebody and then bore them to death, which is what happened here. Oh, this was way too long. It was a really cheesy conference. Um, What do do you rate it? Uh, Overall, uh, (sighs) jeez, probably a four. I I think it was better than EA, Mm. 
uh, d- mainly because of this. If you take the South Park announcement out of this trailer, it's, it's like, a, like three. a two. Yeah, or, it's yeah, not good. It's really bad. I didn't mm-hmm. like. Like I know some people love still like the division. Some people st- are very interested in For Honor. I've seen a lot of people buzz are interested for in for, Ghost Recon. For, like For Honor, that's a yeah, Ghost Recon. But like, I just didn't get one. I didn't get anything I wanted out of it. So yeah. I didn't get my Prince of Persia. I didn't get my you Splinter get the South Cell. Park, which is fine. Two, um, the pacing was terrible. I feel like oh. three, the setup and the hosting was terrible and mm-hmm. awkward. Like, yes. don't interact with the crowd. Don't interact with the people. Don't bring on guests. Don't dance in a fucking giraffe <laughs> outfit. Like, I don't need that shit. Show me the game. Yeah, I felt like I felt like Fuck, the crowd was Microsoft aggravated. Microsoft and Sony did it very, very well. But yeah, that's too. Just show us the game. Yep. That's what we're here for. Yep. Oh my um, and god! Have the important people come out and talk a little bit. Yeah. About, like, the only reason the tray about their and vision like the bit. Matt and Trey thing worked is because they're funny. They're funny. They're yeah. legitimately actually funny, yeah, and people, that's the only reason people they give worked. a shit about them. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Um. So, yeah, four. I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a four. A low four. Too. Um, yeah, I'll give it a four. Um, if I agree, if South Park wasn't here, it's like a two. It went on way too long. The hosting way wasn't too good. Long. Um, and I love Aisha Tyler. Like, I think she's great. Like, yeah. I love her outside of the stuff. Mm-hmm. She is a real gamer. She yeah. definitely plays yeah. games hardcore. Like, she's not. A, she's, not a, she's she's at least semi funny and stuff. I mean, yeah. she's funny outside of it. Yeah. She's at least. Okay I don't think she's a bad host. Stage. There's definitely been worse, but uh, I'd any, rather it just not be a show like that. That's the problem. Yeah, I'd crazy. rather it be a press conference. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, I don't know. They try to put on this big, like, we're the fun company. And yeah. I just, I don't get it. And they know understand. it, too. They make jokes about it. They're yeah. like, hey, we're doing this stuff again. It wouldn't be a, a Ubisoft conference if we didn't say fuck in the first to five minutes, all yeah. this stuff. And it's like, how about you don't do this stuff and you just do what everybody else yeah. is doing because they're way more interesting. Except yep. for EA. You have stuff to show us. Yeah. Unlike EA. You yeah. could have just been a better there, EA There's conference. actual things. You have multiple new games coming out, which is crazy. Like, they had actual games that are coming out this year. Something we didn't say. They talked about the Assassin's Creed movie. They did. Yeah, they yeah. didn't show I think that's what they ended with, was the though. Assassin's Creed movie. Uh, it was a little bit. They ended with that s- steep, steep thing. Was it the steep? Okay. Yeah. But the Assassin's Creed movie, they did show that off. I guess we should talk mm-hmm. about it. They, it wasn't much. It wasn't like a new trailer or anything. It was no, the same it was stuff. Kind of behind a little the scenes more stuff. footage and yeah. behind the scenes, which was cool. Which was very very cool yeah nothing to change my opinion on it i still no, think, I still think it the movie's looks gonna good. be sweet yeah i'm excited about it um it looks like they spent a lot of time in this um it's a new character um same kind of universe um n- similar storyline but different he said so they're doing a different yep. approach but still staying true it seems to like they're the adapting the very much like adapting a book yeah. They're taking the source material, yeah. respecting it, but making it a movie. And yeah. I honestly, the closer this gets, the more I'm thinking this is going to be it. Like, this is the first video game movie that's going to hit. Yeah. Um. So I'm expecting this um, to be like a Matrix kind of thing. I could definitely see like three movies. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about it. Yeah, they, they already a, greenlit the second one. So They have a fantastic cast, a good director, um, good stunt crew. I agree. It's just, it's a good foundation for an actual movie. And they got it from a really cool video game story wise. So I think we really have something here. I'm excited about it. Yep. So overall, I gave the press conferences a, what, a three, a four, and a six out yep. of 30. Mm-hmm. That's pretty shitty. Um, like I said, this I, I think this is a weak E3. I agree. Uh, I think it's overall, very weak. Uh, Nintendo, I feel like... I mean, they could wow us because our expectations for that are so low. Very low. If they come, um, if they come out with anything they new... They literally can just come out and be like, new Metroid, and that's it. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. they did something. So there's been a couple years in E3 where Nintendo has wowed the shit out of people, whether it's a new console, and they're just like... Here's this out of fucking nowhere, and people are like, "Whoa!" What they did the hell? Splatoon, and people lost their minds. And yeah. I thought it would look like garbage. Yeah. And look at me now; I love Splatoon. Um, but they showed Splatoon, and people lost their mind. Nintendo's always hit or miss. So they either do something crazy random that no one was expecting, and it ends up being awesome, or, or they just terrible. do a couple things that people are expecting, and it's really boring. Like if they, if they do these hour-long gameplays, they're so fucking boring. Nintendo does it all the time. So yeah. So we'll know by the the time this goes up, probably yeah. what Nintendo did. So if they're if they did do any sort of announcements, we will make a video on it. For sure. If it was literally just Zelda stuff, we, maybe we'll do a quick thing, but it probably won't be yeah. much. It might be like 10 minutes or something. Um, yeah, so let us know what your favorite announcement was from EA, from Bethesda, and from Ubisoft, and rank them for us, the conferences overall. Yeah, for sure. I bet a lot of people put Bethesda uh, 
Bethesda, Ubisoft, EA, which that's is a, what I would do. Yep, that's how I put it. Um, I, I bet that's a pretty common one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I bet a lot of people put Bethesda high. And you can go ahead and give us an out of ten rank for them too. Why? Why the hell not? Why not? Uh, thank you so much for being here with me, Todd. Yeah, man, good times. Late at night doing all this garbage. Oh yeah, it's a lot of work. Uh, thank you so much for watching.